like everything is going pretty well, I think, on my date with my vegan. I mean, like, he's extremely quiet, but I don't mind the quiet, you know, as long as someone's talking and I don't mind being the person who's talking. So I say, like, hey, do you want to see a movie after this? Shit, 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 shit. What movies do vegans who eat meat see? I wasn't sure, but he had another idea. <laughs> and now that I think about it, it was a pretty good idea. But at the time, I didn't get the significance. But I did later, and you will too. He takes me to Griffith Park Observatory. Now listen, I don't hate school, and I don't hate science. Although, you know, I did hate algebra because like, sorry, when am I ever gonna use this? Also, I make more money than my teachers and like sometimes that's embarrassing because like, no, they should make more money, but that's not actually why I hated algebra. And the point is that I don't mind science. Science is cool. <sighs> I kind of like geek out to it sometimes, you know? Like, okay, like when I'm watching Iron Man 3 with my dad and I'm like, yes! That is so cool. I would totally throw myself off of a building into a flaming ball of fire and kick the shit out of massive robots. And then my dad goes, I think you mean science fiction. And I'm like, yeah, science. Sometimes parents just can't keep up. So anyway, I'm starting to feel kind of okay about this whole observatory thing because I can tell that he likes it. And then I start to think, well, why don't I just like everything that he likes? Then he'll like me more. And that was the moment I figured out how relationships work. I think I'm smarter than most people my age, but that's only because I have my own accountants. I mean, and I would never bring that up on a date. Finally, we get there. Then I look up and see the stars, beautiful and bright, lighting up the day to make it night. And though it wasn't Andor's moon, didn't have surround, but with him I didn't feel earthbound. And we were standing on a stellar cloud Flying to a distant star We could have been in Avatar But I was feeling something strange It hit me in the gut And I don't know what happened But I couldn't feel my fame Oh my god, it's happened What? You won't believe the girl that I became Yes! Suddenly and without warning Insecurity hit me. What? What? I'm not insecure. You guys, you know I'm not insecure. I have modeled the 10 ugliest bathrobes found on Etsy in front of a million strangers. I mean, I love you guys, but I don't know you personally. Thank you for all of your sweet posts. I don't have time to read, but I would be nowhere without you. So I know that you'll support me when I say insecurity, eh, not my thing. You know, it just, it just isn't. Besides, I had just figured out how relationships work. You become the person you want to date, only in cuter shoes. Duh. And then I thought, wait, what if, what if he already knows who I am? What if he is a follower? Oh god, oh no, oh my god, he has seen me with zips and no makeup. He, he has seen me sleep in unsexy underwear on my balcony on a dare. He has seen me eat meat, meat. How unsexy is that? I'm just an empty speck of dust. Why would he want me? I don't exist except just virtually. And for the first time in my life, I don't know who I am. How can I make him understand the turbulence I feel? So very unfamiliar and I'm freaking out on Saturn. No big deal. Yeah, 
well, it's a thing I've never felt, and I felt it on Orion's belt. Yeah, I got bank, and it's nice to be a celebrity with ardent fans too numerous to thank. But then I wonder if he knows all that. What if his weird vibe to me means that he subscribes to me? Uh, he's seen me barfing in a bag just because I could. My followers, they understood, but maybe he can't see the celebrity that I was always meant to be. Okay, wow. I wonder if he's watching me now. So you guys, at this point, I don't know what's what. I mean, I'm having this internal nightmare while Jack, who has no idea what's going on, is just smiling and gazing up at the observatory stars and planets while I have secretly birthed our relationship, broken it up, pieced it back together, and then decided I'm a worthless piece of shit, all while he has been admiring the rings of Saturn. <sighs> or so I thought. I swear to God, I am hallucinating about the end of our fucking marriage when he looks at me and goes, Saturn has 63 moons, not 62. I am not kidding you guys. This is what cute weird guy says to me while I am having this internal freak out. And so I go, <laughs> what? And he goes, they forgot Juno. And I go, I love that movie. And then the conversation is over and he's really quiet again. So then I'm quiet too, because I want to be just like him. But that only lasts like eight seconds. And then I say, oh, I am craving in and out And he goes, what's that? And I go, you know what, it's over, it's over. And then I get really quiet for what feels like about an hour. But it was probably only a few seconds. And then he says the following. And I want you to listen very closely to this because I am not kidding, you guys. He goes, that's where I'm from. <laughs> what? And I say, what is where you're from? And he goes, Juno. And I'm like, wait, who was he in that movie? Wait, no. Then I remember that he's talking about a fucking moon. And so I'm not really sure what to even say next. So I say nothing. And then he goes, I hope that doesn't upset you. And I go, what? That you're from Juno, a moon of Saturn previously uncharted? No, no. <laughs> what? You guys? My boyfriend is an alien. I met this guy. His name is Jack. And he was sweet, or so I thought. I met this guy from outer space, or so he says. He may be nuts, this guy named Jack. This guy named Jack, so cute. First guy I like is someone we'd study inside.